Someone has pasted Piglet on my window. Well, well, who to? This is a surprise. <laughs> Do come in and make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming it is a rather blustery day outside? Yes, sir, Al. It's a very, very blustery day outside. Oh, yes. That reminds me. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, Owl. <laughs> My good fellow, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a Wednesday. Just a gentle spring zephyr. Excuse me, Owl, but... <laughs> is there honey in that pot? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Help yourself. Now, as I was saying, this is just a mild spring zephyr compared to the big wind of 67. Or was it 76? Oh, well, no matter. Oh, I remember the big blow well. I remember this one, too. It was the year my Aunt Clara went to visit her cousin. Now, her cousin was not only gifted on the glockenspiel, but being a screech owl, also sang soprano in the London Opera. Thank you, Piglet. You see, her constant practicing so unnerved my aunt that she laid a seagull egg by mistake. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Well, I say now, someone has... Pooh. Did you do that? I don't think so. As soon as Christopher Robin heard of the disaster, he hurried to the scene of Owl's misfortune. What a pity. Owl, I don't think we will ever be able to fix it. If you ask me, when a house looks like that, it's time to find another one. That's a very good idea, Eeyore. Might take a day or two. But I'll find a new one. Good. That will just give me time to tell you about my Uncle Clyde, a very independent barn owl. He <laughs> didn't give a hoot for tradition. He became enamored of a pussy cat and went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat. <laughs> <laughs>